Yo, Chase, what's good, bro? Yeah. Who do you think should yeah. win between X and Ski? Who's your favorite artist? Um, so I think it's really close, and they're both really good, but... What's going on, everybody? Marvelous Beats back again with another video for you guys. Today, we got another artist battle. Um, yeah, I don't know how these got there, but uh, let's just put those off to the side. Ah. Here we go again. For today's battle, we got two of the legends in rap. The first artist in the ring is... <laughs> XXX and Tashion. And then next up in the ring, we got the one and only... Ski Master Slump God. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't seen my artist battle series before, I have a brief little video to kind of break down the rules and how it's all gonna play out. Actually, before we play that video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Also, follow me on my social media at Instagram. At Instagram. I'm at, at Beats by Marv on Twitter and Instagram. But with no further ado, let's jump into this rules video so you guys can see how artist battles really works. Let's check it out. Artist battle is a simple concept. Basically, we take two rappers with a similar style of music and throw them in the ring. It's a five round fight. The five rounds are broken down into five different categories. The first round is image and influence. Is their social media popping? How do they appear in the media? The second round is lyrical ability. How talented of a lyricist are they? Can they spit with the best? The third round is chart success. Are their songs hitting? How are they doing? on the charts. The fourth round is consistency. How often are they dropping hot records? And also, how good are their projects as a whole? The fifth round is long- Actually, for the fifth round, instead of doing longevity, because unfortunately X has passed away, I thought the best alternative would be to do a fan vote. If you guys didn't see my posts on YouTube and Instagram and stuff, I am going on Instagram live later in this video for round five and getting you guys to determine who's gonna take home the fifth round in this battle. So yeah, that's how it's all gonna go down. And uh, now let's just get back to my boring little intro. <laughs> All right, now that you guys know how artist battle really works, I just want you guys to all know a brief disclaimer, I guess you could say. This battle is all love. I mean, it's more of like a sibling wrestling match than an actual boxing fight. You know when you used to like wrestle with your siblings? That's more what this fight is like. Let's jump right into this artist battle. X versus Ski, let's get it. All right, for the first round, we have Image and Influence, and we're gonna start off with Ski Mask, the Slump God. All right, so Ski Mask is a 23-year-old adult, almost like myself. I'm 22, turning 23 in July. I know nobody cares, but shut the f up. Anyways, he also has 561,000 Twitter followers and a whopping 4.1 milli Instagram followers. So that's just about, you know, 4 million more Instagram followers than myself. Actually, like four point, yeah, it's a lot more Instagram followers than me. Ski Mask is a very super fun, loving guy, I guess you could say. He has a very likable persona. However, he isn't one that is new to drama and controversy in the media. With prior situations such as his beef with Rob Stone when he was opening for Designer on the Outlet Tour back when Designer was actually kind of relevant. <laughs> It's kind of crazy that Ski Mask was opening for designer looking back at it. There are a lot of one hit wonders out there. And then he also had the situation where he was performing at a concert and someone screamed something slandering X's name, I guess. And this was after X had passed away. And you know, Ski and X are brothers, so Ski kind of encouraged the crowd to beat his. That's what happened. That's what And then he continued to play the song Look at Me, which. Looking back, it was actually kind of funny. I guess the guy deserved it. I mean, you shouldn't be slandering X's name at a Ski Mask concert. In terms of his actual appearance, he kind of maintains that typical rapper look. However, he does have his own, you know, drip or whatever you want to call it. Don't ever do that again. He's a lot less flashy than the typical rapper. He's also very good with the media in terms of doing interviews. He is very likable. And whenever he does interviews with companies such as Genius or all those like Power 106, whatever the radio stations are in the States, he is a super, super funny guy. And he isn't afraid to, you know, crack jokes and talk about his music very openly. Unlike some certain rappers like Matt Ox. So we will go to like the shows and stuff. And Kodak Black, you know, who really just act like they don't give a f in interviews. Actually, you know what? Kodak is actually pretty funny, not gonna lie. When he pulled up with the ski mask at the Breakfast Club interview. <laughs> But Ski Mask is just a super fun-loving guy, and he actually tries in interviews, and I respect that a lot. All right, so now let's look at X in the image and influence category. He passed away, unfortunately, in June of 2018 at the age of 20. 
He has over 2.1 million Twitter followers and a staggering 16.2 million Instagram followers. However, I know those numbers jumped up quite a bit after he passed, which is kind of a messed up situation because, you know, everybody cares about you more when you die. It's a sad truth, but uh, yeah, X always kind of had a bigger following than Ski Mask anyways before he passed away too. In terms of his relationship with the media, you could say it was a very love-hate relationship. In the beginning of his career especially, the media really wanted to paint him in a negative light. A lot of the controversies stemming from things such as his Instagram, that little clip of him like himself or whatever. As X moved on later in his career, he really did evolve as a person and his persona in the media really kind of went from negative to positive, I guess you could say. Things such as the helping hand challenge that he started on his YouTube channel were a great showcase of the positivity and that new kind of mindset that he had towards the world. But with everything I just said, all that stuff that happened really kind of amplified him as an artist and as a celebrity. In terms of his actual appearance, X was also very out there with, especially Actually, his hair. That's the thing I really wanted to highlight. He was very quick to change his hair color and even, you know, shave his eyebrows. He was very authentic. Authentic, that's the word I have to describe him. And he really was an icon and had tons of influence over the youth. All right, so for the winner of this image and influence round, it has to go to my boy X. This is because he was just truly authentic and really connected with his audience and just youth across the world. All right, now moving on to round two, we have lyrical ability. All right, so one of the comparisons that I have to make with Ski Mask is to Busta Rhymes. He really is the modern day Busta. He is a freak of nature. He's more of a traditional rapper compared to X. However, he really does show his versatility on songs like So High and Save Me. Reminiscing on his concert that I saw, if you guys haven't watched it, I went to the Juice World and Ski Mask Death Race for Love tour in Vancouver and vlogged the entire experience. Shut the f up. When he performed the song So High, it was just a, such a beautiful moment. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I'm not crying. It's just the wind is in my eye. All right, so moving on, Ski Mask has really found the perfect balance of old school rapping and this modern swagger that he's kind of thrown on all of his tracks. He has the craziest metaphors I've ever heard. I mean, a prime example is just the song title, Faucet Failure, you know, like, cause the sink isn't working, so it's dripping. He's got drip. That's fire. Who the f thinks of that stuff other than Ski Mask? I don't know. He is just uh, so out there and creative and I absolutely love his lyrical ability. Also, he is a genius at coming up with very catchy lyrics. A prime example is the song Catch Me Outside. The hook is absolutely fire. And that is a perfect little transition to my next segment in this video called Favorite Bars. It's pretty much where I just talk about my favorite bar that a rapper has spit. And for Ski Mask, it comes from the song Catch Me Outside and the bar goes like this. Naruto, nine-tailed fox coat fur. I feel like a Gucci ad lip burr. Colder than a Coca-Cola mascot polar bear. Put my sauce on lasagna. It could make a Garfield purr. What? That who comes up with that? All right, now moving on to X. He's less of a traditional rapper, I would say, than Ski Mask. However, he really stands out in terms of his versatility in composing different types of genres and tracks. Songs such as Revenge really showcase his ability to write beautiful lyrics over slow guitar instrumentals. And then you move on to songs like Young Brats, which really just demonstrates his ability to make absolute bangers. And I swear, every time that song comes on, I'll be falling off tables and I'll be like, what the f and also, just because I said he's less of a traditional rapper than Ski, he is also super talented at spinning over kind of classic boom bop instrumentals, as demonstrated in the song Infinity 888 featuring Joey Bat. His lyrics are just so powerful and they always just hit home, especially on his project 17. I mean, that is a absolute masterpiece. The songs are short, there's not that many lyrics. However, the content is there. All right, before we forget, it's time for my favorite bar from X. It is from the song Revenge off his 17 album. Some kill, some steal, some break your heart. And you thought that I would let it go and let you walk. Well, broken hearts break bones, so break up fast. And I don't want to let it go, so in my grave. All right. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I don't know. 
Amazing, I'm speechless. <laughs> All right, so for the winner of this lyrical ability round, I gotta go with Ski Mask of Slump God. This was a super close round. However, Ski Mask is just a freak of nature rapper. He's probably the most talented rapper in this new school class. All right, now it's time to move on to round three, which is chart success. We have a tied battle so far. So Ski Mask of Slump God has achieved tons of commercial success. However, never really broke through that mainstream audience quite like X did. Over the last couple of years in rap, you can see it's gotten extremely competitive, you know, with the whole streaming service and industry and then the thousands of little rappers putting out music but even with all that competition ski mask has still been able to achieve numerous hot 100 records from the songs foot fungus and also nuketown <laughs> All right, now let's look at his albums. His project Stokely, which is an absolute classic in my opinion. I love that album so much. Debuted at number six on the album charts. However, looking back on the album Beware the Book of Eli, that album had a terrible rollout and it only sold a whopping 12,000 units first week. So, uh... What? You hear the crickets in the room. That is a very bad performance. However, I do blame his management and label who butchered that rollout process, like I said. However, Ski Mask bounced back with probably a better comeback than Tyga, almost even. Wow, you tripping. Ski Mask sold 51,000 copies with Stokely in the first week. So yeah, that was a pretty big jump. All right, now let's move on to X. His projects and songs have done really well on the Billboard Top 100 charts. In fact, even had a number one record in the country with the song Sad. Had, although it did peak at number one after he unfortunately passed away. With all that being said, X has achieved tons of other success on the charts. In fact, he is the 12th rapper to have nine tracks on the Billboard Top 100 all at the same time. He is amongst names such as Drake, Future, and Kendrick. So yeah, he is, um, he's done quite well for himself. All right, now let's talk about his albums. His debut studio, Project 17, sold 82,000 first week and debuted at number two on the charts. Fast forward to his project, Question Mark, that dropped in March of 2018 and it sold a whopping why do I keep saying whopping I've said that word so many times in this video that album sold 131,000 first week crazy numbers lastly I want to talk about his posthumous album skins that actually outsold question mark with a hundred and thirty two thousand units moved first week and again people are gonna be saying it only did that well because he died and yes that does play a factor however that album still would have done great anyways all right for the winner of this third round we got to go with XSX and Tashiyan. the numbers speak for itself I don't really have much else to say about it. All right, so now let's move on to round four, which is consistency. All right, so like I said previously, Ski Master Slum God has dropped two studio albums, Beware the Book of Eli, and also Stokely. He also has an amazing mixtape called You Will Regret that features songs such as Catch Me Outside and H2O. That album really did put him onto the mainstream rap scene. Overall, I would say that Ski Mask is an extremely consistent rapper. However, he doesn't really drop many songs outside of his albums, and you hardly see him on features, really. All right, now looking at the projects as a whole, You Will Regret and Stokely are almost spotless from top to finish, I would have to say. However, when looking at the book of Eli, a few of the songs kind of struggled. The bangers like Coolest Monkey in the Jungle were absolutely fire. However, when you look at the weaker songs like Dapper Dan, yeah, kind of struggles a little bit. And don't even get me started with the Rich the Kid features on that project. He is very hit or miss. And those features on that album, they were a miss. Let's just put it that way. All right, now let's look at X in terms of this consistency category. He's released three studio projects, like I said, 17 question marks and then skins. He also has numerous mixtapes along with Ski Master Slump God with his collective members only. He also has some pretty interesting features. He even had that one song with Miley Cyrus or wait, no, it's Noah Cyrus. That song is actually a low key, a pretty, it's a banger. In terms of his albums, they are extremely well thought through, especially his album 17. That is my favorite concept album of all time. Looking at the project question mark, that album is weird because every song is like a different genre. If you go through the whole album, you don't know what the heck you're listening to. Too. You're kind of jumping from rap to country to R&B, but even though they're all different kinds of songs It just gels perfectly together So X was super talented at that and overall just such a consistent artist in my opinion He does great in this category. All right, so for the winner of this fourth round It was an extremely close call. I gotta give it to X is on and that means by three to one He has won this artist battle. We only got five rounds. So congrats to X. This was such a close round but We're still gonna move on to the fifth round, which is the fan vote. I'm super Super excited for this. Like I said earlier in the video, it is where I get you guys to vote on who is the better artist and who is your favorite. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what you guys had to say.
Yo, Ethan, what's up? It's good, Chase. Two Sav, what's up? Potato Duck. Gilbert, what's good? Paranoia. Dale Park. Javier Lopez. Kyle, I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody joining right now. So basically, I'm also filming at the same time. I'll quickly flip the camera. I want you guys to call in or request a video chat. I'm screen recording this live stream right now, and I want to hear what you guys have to say, whether X is better than Ski or Ski is better than X, and then whatever you guys decide, that person will get the fifth round vote. Yo, Chase, what's good, bro? Yeah. Who do you think should yeah. win between X and Ski? Who's your favorite artist? Um, so I think it's really close, and they're both really good, but X has had such a great impact. X. All right, why is he better than Ski Mask? Uh, his, his music is just better, you know? That, that's fair. Keep it simple. I appreciate it, man. I think X because of what he's right. done. And basically, he made more songs. Like, what I'm saying is Ski Mask can only do, like, rapping, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so X is more versatile, in your opinion. Yeah. All right, so that is three votes for X and zero for Ski Mask. So I definitely think uh, Ski Mask. I mean, like, X, he, he's good and all type. But yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like he has a lot of sad stuff, and that's not really for me. So Ski is more your vibe then, right? Yeah, definitely. I'd have to say Ski. Okay. I'm a big X fan. Like, no, you cannot yeah. get me wrong. I'm a huge X fan. But I'm going with Ski because his bars hit harder. Said you got love for me. Well, X because he could do more genres than Ski. I like Ski more, but X definitely better. I just want to say I appreciate all the work you do towards your videos. Thank you, that means a lot, honestly. So this is like a really close go between Ski and X. Ski, yeah. I'd say for a lyrical standpoint, he's a true lyricist. X has versatility and he also is a lyricist, so for that reason, I'm going to put X over Ski. Uh, I feel like they're both really good, but I feel like X had a bigger impact on people's lives. So, uh, yeah, I think X. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd have to say, for the vote, I'd have to say X, just because, okay. like, he had a bigger impact for sure on everybody, you know? Like, yeah. Ski has really good lyrics, but, like, I don't know, X it's so versatile like everyone's been saying too so it's like it's so hard you know it is he's just so talented at creating like music in different genres and he's just also a crazy talented rapper as well so yeah it's that's a fair point i really respect that all right man have a good one all right peace man appreciate you all right, so that sums up this artist battle. X wins by a vote of four to one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of fun talking to you guys and interacting with you guys on that Insta Live feed. Make sure you guys don't miss out on the next one for the next artist battle. I'm gonna be incorporating you guys in tons of videos in the future. I absolutely love both of these artists. X and Ski are legends. I was blessed to see Ski Mask perform live at the Death Race for Love tour. I wish I could have seen X perform live as well, but you know, RIP X. Make sure you guys drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Also, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the rounds and who you think should have won this battle. I'm Marvelous Beats. I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's going to be a top 10, so stay tuned for that. I've done enough talking. Catch you guys soon. I'm out. Peace.